us to the eighth episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2020 GCE Science Paper 2. So the first episode in this series looked at section M, then the last six episodes looked at question E, B1 through B6. So if you haven't seen these episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel. So question B7 leads, the diagram below shows an arrangement of outermost electrons in a molecule of a compound. Question A, Loma number 1, on the diagram, indicate a double covalent bond by putting a circle round it. So, you just need to identify which one is a double bond. So, if you notice here, this is a single bond because we have this one electron and this one electron being donated by C and hydrogen. Similarly, this is between hydrogen and carbon. Similarly here, so that's a single bond. Then we have this one one donation by oxygen, then also this one electron donations by oxygen and hydrogen. So these are single. But in here we are seeing these two. So this is the double covalent bond which we are required to identify there. Then Loma number 2 of A, construct the chemical formula of the molecule above. So, if you look at this molecule, you will notice that we have C bonding with 3 hydrogen, this C. That one, that one and this one. So, we are going to have one C bonding with 3 hydrogen. Then, we come here, we see this carbon bonding with this oxygen this oxygen and then this hydrogen bonds with this oxygen. So we're going to have this carbon which is bonding with one oxygen. Then this oxygen bonds with hydrogen. So we have that. So this is the formula of this acid which is ethanoic acid. So once you do this, you are good to go. Calculate the molecular mass of the molecule. So to calculate the molecular mass of this molecule we need to use the periodic table. So let us just go to the periodic table. So on the periodic table we have this formula of the compound which is C H3 then C O O like this. So what is the mass number of carbon? This is 12. So we have 12 then plus hydrogen is a 1 so it will be 3 because there are 3 hydrogen there multiplied by 1 then plus we have carbon, another carbon which is 12, then plus we have 2 oxygen, so 2 times 16, which is this one, then plus we have 1 hydrogen. So what you notice is we have 12 plus 12, which is 24. Let me write here. So 12 plus 12 is 24. Then plus we have 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 1, which is 4. In terms of hydrogen, then we remain with him oxygen, which is 2 times 16, which is plus 32. So when we add this, what are we going to get? So we're going to get 28 plus 32, which will be 60. So 60 grams is the molecular mass of this molecule of ethanoic acid. Question B, Loma numero 1. To which homologous series of compound does the molecule belong to? So, like I said, this is a carboxylic acid. That's the family. Because remember, the formula was CH3COH. So these are carboxylic acids. Then, Loma numero 2, state one chemical property of the molecule. So this molecule has got a number of properties, then you can just choose one that you can go with, but I'll give you a number of them, just choose one. So number one, they are weak acids, that is they partially ionize in water, so they are weak acids, meaning they partially ionizes 
any water. Number two, they react with bases to form water and a salt by the process known as neutralization. Number three, they react with aqueous ammonia to form ammonia. Number four, they react with carbonates or bicarbonates to form salt, carbon dioxide and hydrogen. So they react with carbonates and also bicarbonates to form carbon dioxide, water and a salt. So you can choose any of these that you prefer to go with. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we start looking at it, section C of this paper. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking and also if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got uh, so much content. So we've got uh, mathematics uh, based uh, revision questions, we've got uh, physics, we've got uh, chemistry, then we've got also topic based uh, section for all the subjects. And this is uh, the best uh, section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic.